Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another day of October. I think it's day four today for you guys. Um, today for me is Saturday, and we are headed to soccer, of course. That is our Saturday morning ritual these days. Don't like my dresser. Dressers are a mess. <laughs> I've been, like, going through some clothes, and, yeah, I've got to... I've got to donate some clothes. I've got, as you can see, I have like a sweater or sweatshirt addiction. <laughs> so I gotta, yeah, I gotta go through some of those. I, as you know, I've been, I've lost some weight. So like my older ones are, a lot of them are too big and I keep holding on to them thinking, well, maybe they'll fit and then I'll put them on. I'm like, that's got to go. So anyways, uh, we are headed to soccer. It's going to be like in the eighties this weekend, which makes me kind of sad because today's actually for me, October 2nd. And I really would like some cool weather, although next week it's going to be cool and rainy. So, you know, I guess we can have a nice, beautiful, warmish weekend. I think it's going to be like 80, might be 81 today and like 83 tomorrow. So I don't really know. We don't really have like a lot of plans this weekend. Today is soccer and then um, we'll get some lunch and probably I'll just come home. I need to do some housework. I'll be making dinner. Patrick's going to come over for dinner. You know, those kinds of things. That's pretty much a basic rundown of the day but you know it's Saturday so who knows we may throw a few in ex a few extra things in but we'll see but you'll be here for it so welcome back got to get this day started So that was one of those sad games where your team just keeps on scoring and the other team tried so hard and didn't score at all. I think it was like six or seven. I don't know. It was sad. It was like at the end, we just wanted the red team to score. We didn't want our kids to score anymore. That's just the, when you have a, it's literally nine to 13 year olds. So you just never know who's going to be. They don't divide them up. You just pick what team you want to be on. So um, we just had the older team, you know, they were younger, but they tried so hard. Anyway, everybody's hot. They got their snacks and Elena came, so Jackson wanted to ride with her and they chose Chick-fil-A. So even though we had Chick-fil-A for dinner, we're having Chick-fil-A for lunch today. So we're gonna head over there and I'm kind of roasting in this, like, it's thin, but it's like a sweater, so. Marion's always wearing shorts, even when it's cold. We got in the car and he said, where's Jackson? I said, he's with Elena. He's like, so where are we going? I said, well, we're meeting them. <laughs> <laughs> he thought we were gonna have a lunch date. Nope. Well, we are, but we also will have two of our kids with us. We had to come to Sam's to buy the movie tickets for tomorrow, and um, I got more of that. Jackson loves it. That stuff is so good. I'm not eating sugar, really, but um, I'll have like a couple pieces. It is good if you are wondering. I'm looking for the giant fruit snacks. Seeing this on your finger, see. Elena nice. says these are so good. Are they, you've had these? Yeah, I've had the vanilla ones, and they're really great. It's like a granola bar. Yeah. Um, Look, it's a it's a candy corn mix. How cute! Candy corn mums. Look at these mums. Wow. We're at Lowe's right now. 
I have to get a new mailbox for my front porch makeover. Our new mailbox, I mean our mailbox broke. So perfect time to replace it when I'm doing my porch. No Halloween stuff, it's Christmas now. Yeah, there's a mailbox, right. That is pretty. I just want a simple little mailbox like this, but they're out. We're gonna have to order it. All right, Home Depot has the one I want in stock, so we'll go to Home Depot. We're also looking for some wood for the, Marion wants to replace like the wood on the steps, so. I'm so sweet. Who gets where he's oh. been uh, laying lately? Where? On my pillow. Oh, you're sleeping with Jackson. <laughs> Clyde, you're the cutest. Yet you are such a sweet boy. He comes and greets us like the dogs do when we come home. Yeah. He's like, I want some love. Can't put you on the pillow. Seems so strange to have the pool gone. It's such a beautiful day today. So I wanted uh, to mention this because I have had some people asking me if Madison was still making her earrings and she has an earring company called Palm and Kiwi Co. If you are new or you didn't know, she over quarantine, she Hold on. Sorry, it looked like there was something on the screen. Uh, we're quarantined, she started this little business and she wasn't working as much at the other salon that she worked at and so she was supplementing with earrings and she built a, this cute little website and made tons of earrings and she is she's since got another job at another salon and she um, just is busy all the time like she works so much she does not just hair coloring haircut all that she also does lashes she also does airbrush makeup she stopped doing nails but um she's doing all the other and she does like you know for entire bridal parties she'll do their hair makeup lashes all that so she's very busy and she's also um joined a small group and just like always always they do things like three four five times a week so Basically, she doesn't have time right now to, to devote to the earrings, but she still, you know, enjoyed it and, you know, isn't saying never again, but she had a ton of inventory. She was, like, taking stuff to Goodwill, and so she had this whole bag full of earrings that she was going to take to Goodwill, and I said, hold on, let me look through those, and I'm going to, like, keep these because they're cute, and I like, if you can see it, I like small earrings. I've always just been, I, I guess, some people like both, but... I'm just a small earring, maybe you're a big earring or a small earring kind of girl, I don't know. I feel like when you have hair that's thin or like mine that's not like big, then I don't want big earrings. I think it would look silly. But anyway, I thought that maybe I could do like a giveaway on my channel and just like send maybe like a couple people some earrings, like have a drawing or something. I don't know, there's like a ton. And they're really cute, and she was just going to give them to Goodwill, and I was like, give me those. Maybe, maybe some of you guys would want them, would be interested. So I think what I'm going to do, let me know in the comments if that's something that y'all would like. Like to do a, um, these are just a few of them, there's so many. Uh, if you would like me to do like a little giveaway, maybe I could pick like three or five, three to five people and send you a couple pair. If you are interested, they're clay, polymer clay earrings, and all different kinds, and colors anyway I have this big bag and I would love to like send them out to people who would wear them so let me know if that's something that you would be interested in so I think I'm gonna go through all of this today and see if there's some I can yeah it even goes way back <laughs> some I can get rid of and some of these I have gotten rid of some stuff that's just doesn't fit me anymore or doesn't fit me right and or I just haven't worn it I did pull out all my shoes. I have like no shoe storage because we always had like our vacuum here, but Madison took the one vacuum to her house. So now I kind of have room to put suit shoe storage if I want, but then the rooms are going to be switched around soon. So 
what I'm saying is, I think I'm just gonna like declutter my shoes, my clothes a little bit, take um, you know, take them and donate them because I just have too much stuff in this little room. So yeah, and things are just, you know, it's not a bad thing, but like so many things I put on and they really just don't fit me. And why well, keep them if they're not fitting me, you know? So. Those up there I know I'm going to keep some fell when I was trying to pull some out and I just thought I would just pull the rest out, go through them down here and then put up what I want to keep but I think there's a lot I want to get rid of. Okay, these I'm gonna try on. These are to keep, these are to keep. These are to get rid of, and these are get, to get rid of. And I don't know, you know, I love a lot of these, and I've had them forever, and I love have loved them, but I think it's time to let them go. I still wanna, no, wait a minute. <laughs> some of these I'm keep, I think I got confused. Some of these are to go, and some are to keep. I gotta go through that pile again, but these are definitely to keep. Okay, so I went through um, these and I went through my dresses too and then it does still look like I have a ton but this is what I'm getting rid of and I also went through my drawers that feels good though to get rid of all that stuff it's all pretty much too big like I loved love love this shirt but it is just way too big and if I use my sewing machine I could take the sides in but is it really worth it I don't know I think I'd just rather pass it on this was like an Easter dress that I really loved but it's literally now that I've it's strange I'm finding that things are longer on me so like it's like this much too long I, I trip over it when I try to walk so I'm just passing them on you know they're just close and hopefully someone can wear these somebody will enjoy these more than I do sit with them just sitting in my closet
So I condensed all of them just to that. I do have my boots up here, so I gotta figure out where to, maybe I'll put those down there now that I have a space, but that feels good. That whole bag of shoes is going to Goodwill too. I need to go pull out Jackson's clothes, like his, you know, winter clothes. He has grown so much. And I have a feeling that most everything in his closet that I saved for this winter is probably not gonna fit him. We did go to Once Upon a Child the other day and we bought a bunch of bunch of stuff. He was with me so I could like have him try jackets on and put things, hold things up to him to see. And I was shocked at how big he was. He's literally wearing like some 16s. Like that's crazy to me. And last year he was in like, I would say 12, 10, 12. So I think I'm gonna pull out the bins from his closet, go through those. I hadn't planned on doing that today, but I need something to do to feel a little productive <laughs> rather than just sitting in my recliner. It's 4.30. Patrick's gonna be here around six for dinner. So, and dinner's not gonna be a, it's not, it's gonna be quick and easy. Okay, scratch that. I'm gonna do that in a minute, but I actually, Marion's gonna go through his clothes because he said he has a lot that he doesn't wear. His dresser is just jam packed. Like he never goes through, through his clothes and he also never buys himself clothes. So let's see how much we can get rid of from his. You're not very cooperative. He did get rid of all of these and all of these, so that's good. I need to organize his drawers because if you could tell, all his shirts are mixed together with his pants and Oh, what about all this? No, mm -hmm. that's good. I wear all that. Dirty. No, it's not it's dirty. It's literally sat here since last winter. Yeah. This no, is I like, wore that today. I wore, and I wore those shorts to sleep in. And When did you that, wear this? Um, last winter? Yeah. Yeah, last winter. So I also, I went through his clothes in here. He does not have very many hanging clothes. You can see his clothes stop right here. <laughs> and then the rest is mine. But like all back here is like my wedding dress and bridesmaids dresses and like the dresses I wore to my kids weddings and then I put like my dresses because I have some long dresses so I was able to move these over here so now they're not all crammed on that side and my shoes went through those so that feels good to go through all this but now I am going to go do Jackson's real quick because I'm on a roll <laughs>
I'm going to keep this. This is a 14 16 and these are the only things that I had kept that I think are actually going to fit him. So all of this, all these and all these are going to go, these are his nice vans, but he outgrew them in like a couple months socks and then all these are like winter things that just won't fit him that I was thinking would fit him this year but they won't That is the var the final verdict. One, two, three, four, five bags of clothes. These are a couple. It's like a basketball thing. It helps kids get in get it in the goal. That's a lock locker shelf. That's my old toilet paper holder. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my car so that they are not in my house anymore. kind of sat down for like 20 minutes and lost all motivation <laughs> I just scrolled Instagram I need to not do that in the middle of the day because I got stuff to do I actually have a, a load in the dryer that just stopped I need to switch out the laundry and then I'm gonna make dinner Patrick's coming over like he said he's gonna actually be here in any minute and I haven't even started on dinner but oh well so I bought these a while back at Trader Joe's and they've been in my freezer there chili lime chicken burgers i will let you know if they're any good because we've never had them before they put like i don't know i don't know what they avocado pickles i don't know but i'm just gonna hopefully they're good i'm just gonna fry them up like regular burgers they're frozen and then my buns are frozen too <laughs> i have to defrost those and then i just bought like a bag what i really want it's some more of that roasted broccoli I made the other day, but I don't have any. I'm actually not hungry at all. I'm still so full from Chick-fil-A. But I just bought some of these batter mix crinkle cut fries. I'll just throw some of those in the oven. Bit. Dang it. Yep, extra large 16. What? <laughs> you got that on film. <laughs>
multitasking. Oh, and my battery's dying. I'm gonna switch out the laundry while that's cooking, but those burgers are smelling so good, and I just put them on, so good. They're gonna taste delicious. chicken burgers were really good they kind of tasted like um a chick-fil-a grilled chicken sandwich i thought and jackson they're like his all-time favorite and he really loved it he thought so too everybody thought so anyway the fries not so great they smelled really good when i took them out of the bag with them when i <laughs> cooked them I took them out of the oven and they kind of smelled like dirty feet i don't know why and they didn't have a lot of flavor so just if you are wondering um but my kitchen's a mess now and the stove is covered in grease but i'm gonna sit down real quick and work on a budget with patrick Greetings, Gre <laughs> he's always game for me putting a camera on him so um anyway we're gonna work on his budget and then i'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up i'm gonna finish my laundry but i'm gonna say good night for now thank you guys for hanging out with me for vlogtober and i'll see you in the next one bye